Brewing center. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I try to get into brewing, and they're like, no, just get a microphone and then go with that. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I remember a guy, like, came into the program, and he said, uh, you know, my name is, like, Adrian, and I said, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but the point that I'm trying to make, which isn't really much of a point, is that, <laughs> is that, and I forget your question, sorry. I was talking about the hops. The, the hops. hops. Uh, well, this is all a selection. So we go down every year to the Hop Harvest Festival at um, uh, Sierra Nevada in Chico in October. And all these brewers thrash around on a table and look at all the hops that are provided by Yakima Chief, grown by Loftus Ranchers, Carpenter, etc. And they sit it on a table and they all rough, rough through it. And then they say, I want a little bit of this, I want a little bit of that. And they come up with a particular blend. And that blend is the blend that we then put into the program. So if you go to alesforals.net, you will find the blend, and we will be posting the new blend next week. And so by virtue of Ken Grossman of Sierra Nevada, Mike Smith, and the Smith family of Bell Breaker, all the brewers in the program, they sit around... And they thrash around. So I think at some point we need to get at least one Spokane brewer down to the October Fest. It's in Chico? Harvest. What's that? Chico? Chico. I'll now, they're the party in school of the United States of America. Oh, Dave, you went to Chico? What? My family lives there. There you go. So they can help make the selection next year. And, and I don't selection. need a hotel then because I'll just stay at there your you place. There you go. Sweet. All right. We're all staying at Dave's. Yeah. Bless it. And so that particular blend then gets, they compose it through uh, Yakima Chief, and they put it online, and then we distribute those hops when people join the program. Great. That's awesome. And I know tonight we have uh, Mountain Lakes. You've got your double IPA on. Yep. Ailes and so IPA. has every, anybody tried that double IPA tonight, right? Woo! Really nice. So that would be that unique hop blend. Uh, and Dave, you've got uh, an Ailes Frail S beer. We had the brute history of time. It was um, our. It was really dry. It was a brute IPA. Um, it is gone now. So because it was so good, it just went like it that. went like that. So you, you when did you put it on? Uh, Yesterday, last week. And like <laughs> Yesterday. four barrels gone. Like right. It was, yeah, you done, you've done a couple it, of batches. It was, it was a while back that we. A while back. Yeah, yeah. You've been. Dave was from uh, one of the first guys. Matt Galbraith from uh, Humble Abode. Right. Yeah. Matt Hansen from Whistlepunk. I, there are more Matts, right? Um, Dap Badger, uh, Golden right. Handle Project, Iron Goat. Greg has been awesome. Um, God, I got to go down the list it's here. It's really fun tasting them all too because they're they're all using the same hops. Right. But they're Craig all at Big beers. Barn. Craig yeah. is Craig is a, a friend. I grew up with Craig. I don't want to say that we went to high school together, but we did. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Woo. Craig Dietz. So we got, we got a lot of good playful, you know, I mean, um, I, I think that uh, we, we, we've got a growth, like you said, we have a growth here in Spokane. Uh, Jason at uh, Yaya wants to get involved, um, a few other people, so... Steve, let's, for the love of God, wants to do it. Yeah. I'd love to get them involved. Um, you know, we, we've just got people that have keep clamoring for it. Mike at the Hidden Mother, I mean, I don't know if you know Mike, Crazy Mike, awesome, Crazy Mike. dude. He's insane. In fact, we have a connection through a mutual friend who has ALS, who's a famous guitar player named Jason Becker, who was David Lee Roth's selection when he left Van Halen, and then Jason got ALS. Good friend of mine. He lives in the Bay Area. Mike knows him personally. Mike is a, a guy that supports the cost, too. That's excellent. That's excellent. So, so what about for 2020? What do we have new on tap? Should we be expecting this year that's a little different from 2018, 19, so on? So... Um, the hop selection, like I said, has been made. We're rebranding the program a little bit, so it'll look a little different online, and then we sit everything out. But we want um, everybody to look at the hop selection because everybody does their own version, right, Dave? Right, Dave? Oh, yeah. 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 And we, maybe we can get grain shed. Yeah, some you know? of them taste good, and ours taste maybe great. on tap at uh, Park so. David. Okay. Um, point being is that we want... Um, Everybody to get a... So if you guys want an early version, I'll email you the, 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 the information. Like, here's the hot blend before we... You're going to get an invitation next week anyway. So the invitations are going out next week nice. for all the brewers that are in the program currently. And anybody that wants to get in it, they need to kind of collect 
their people together and then get back to me, mshannett at als.net. Or you can go to the website. It'll be on there. And then we'll send you an invite. Get in the program. State what you want to do. Um, you know, even small brewers. like. And I re- recommend playing a little hard to get with Mike because then he'll keep coming and drinking more pints at your place <laughs> to talk you into doing it. So D- Dave is kind of like, he knows my character, which is I'm like the gadfly that keeps nipping. And I kept nipping, and he said, okay, I'll do it. I wanted to do it the whole time, but I'm like, I think I can get at least four more pints out of this guy. I think, oh. I, can, I, think I can get him to pull a couple of growlers out of here, and I can make my rent. Well, Mike, it has been a true pleasure talking with you. However, we have invited you here tonight to play a game we're calling Ales for ALS. Meet Ales for Owls. Mike, you may be critical part to one of the greatest programs raising awareness and support for ALS, but how well do you know ales as they relate to people named Al? Ooh, we are going to ask you three beer-related questions that have something to do with people named Al, Alan, Alex, or the like. Answer two of the three beer questions successfully, and you'll win a prize for one of our audience members, free beer and a pint glass. Dave, who is Mike playing for tonight? Aldo. Aldo. Woo! I'll try. So you are playing I'll for this try. gentleman right here at the corner of the bar. You look like my son-in-law. I'll try. Mike, here is your first question. This famous poet was a drinker and would sometimes show it in his prose. Here is a poem he wrote. Fill with mingled cream and amber. I will drain that glass again. Such hilarious visions clamber. Through the chambers of my brain. Quaintest thoughts, queerest fancies, come to life and fade away. What care I how time advances? I am drinking ale today. His name is Al? His name is, it's it's one of those. (laughs) Al Jazeera. It's not, uh, no. It could be Al, it could be Alan, it could be Alex. Any realm. Oh, oh, Alex. You got Alex. But it's Alex. probably just Al for short. I think it could be Al. Al. Alan. 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 This gentleman was fond of his could it be beverages. Alan. Alan? He attended. Yeah, it could be Alan. It could, his could, middle yes. name. His could, middle name might oh, be Alan. Alan Edgar Poe. Yes, <laughs> Edgar. Okay. Alan Poe. That is correct. Round of applause. <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe was fond of his beverages as well as younger women. At the age of 26, he did marry. His, Al. He married his 13-year-old cousin. Yes, him, and, him and that Elvis, was a, right? That was right. a preemptive good for Al, Mike. Yeah, and that's, right. that's why this poetry was so good. I mean, I mean, Elvis, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Here is your second question. Oh, those 80s and 90s TV shows had some characters. Maybe none as politically incorrect as the guy who stated, pretty women make us buy beer, ugly women make us drink beer. Who was this character? A 1980s to 90s sitcom guy. So it's Al, right? It's Al. But is there an F on the end of it? Maybe? No, there's not no? an F. Okay. No. He played high school football. Uh, he was, was a, okay. He was a high school football player, he, and he had he turned shoe salesman. And and okay, gotcha. Yeah, Al Bundy, right? Woo! Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Never uh, watched it, but Christine Applegate loved her. Boy. Right, Al Bundy, the down-on-his-luck lady shoe salesman from Married with Children. As he stated, life didn't pass me, ba- life didn't pass me by, it sat on my head. <laughs> good for Al. Question number three. Here is your quote, because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Whose fictional character made that quote popular back in the 1990s? Well, that was Stuart, you know. Stuart Smalley. Stuart, Smalley. Yeah, Stuart Smalley. Well, okay. I, who on, was, who was portrayed by? I to get this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got okay. it. There's a certain... Al Franken yeah, who yeah. should have remained his senator. Yes! Sorry. Al Franken. No political there for you, sorry. This is not only a quote spoken by Stuart Smalley, a character of Al Franken on SNL. It's also the name of a beer brewed by Workforce Brewing Company in Plainfield, Illinois, coming in at 8.01%. Uh, Dave, how did Mike do on our quiz? Three for three. This is a perfect yeah. score. He didn't even need the there audience. There you go. Uh, no. Aldo, you win the prize. 
Mike Shannon, thank you so much for joining us on Wheat Weed Don't Tell Me. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. That wraps up this part of the show. We'll now take a break. Be back in a moment with a brand new game we're calling Brewers on Tap. Brewers on Tap. Brewers on Tap. Welcome back to the Brew House stage at Mountain Lakes Brewing Company in downtown Spokane, Washington. This is Wheat Wheat Don't Tell Me, the MLB Beer Quiz Show. And here is your host, Chris Sindri! Well, thank you, Dave. And now a brand new game on Wheat Wheat Don't Tell Me. It's called Brewers on Tap. Throughout the night, our audience members have had the chance to write down a question for one, a few, or all our panelists. We've chosen a smack roll of them to ask our panel to tap into some of that brewer knowledge. Let's get started, shall we? A smack roll. Can we start there? A smack roll. I think when you say smack roll, you're almost as hot as Brian Estes. Is that right? <laughs> That, you, you know what the wait a second, Rod. What is a smack roll? A smack roll. Okay, per, per pound. So <laughs> a smack roll. We all know yeah. where does smack roll come from? Uh, when, mackerel? No, it's ma- Winnie the Pooh. Whenever Winnie the Pooh would go into his honey jar, he would pull out a smack roll of honey. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Huh. He had a smack roll. It was an A.A. A. Milne coin You tried phrase. to make it a dirty sex joke. Yeah, I did no, not. it was a fish. <laughs> I, made, the poo. I made it a fish joke. Oh, you guys did. took it to sex. Yes, he did. All right. Here's a question for the panel. This is from Allison, who lives in Arroway Heights. What is one beer you'd love to try to make, but are too scared to do it? A grit. <laughs> you just made one, and it was amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> it was really good. Okay, we crossed that off. Check. Uh, a, be- a beer we're too scared to make? Too scared. Like, what, what's one that would challenge you to a point where you're like, dude, I'm not ready to brew that beer? Uh, you know, one thing we haven't brewed here yet is a uh, Glambic. Okay. And I'm not really scared of it. It's more about, uh, I think we're too poor to uh, have... A fermenter devoted to a beer for okay. two or three months, but uh, we'll do that. We'll do that sometime soon. Okay. Yep. So, I like a, a true wild, like spontaneously yeah, and so, fermented. You know, and yeah. I mean, in the lambics, they're as pretty fun. Folks know are, are fermented and then they're fermented again with a right. different yeast strand and adding a, a, a bunch of fruits. So it takes a it takes a, a lot of time in one fermenter. But right. Okay. Pretty excited to do it at some point. So to bring us back to your question, the beer we are very scared of making, we've made it before, but we have a new brewer. It's called an India Pale Ale. Yeah, that also. (laughs) What what is hops? I don't even know. Um, He is definitely, our new brewer is definitely allergic to uh, shellfish, and so we've made an awesome oyster stout before, but we cannot do anything like that. It is very scary to us. So Basaraba here inspired us with his turkey dinner gruet, and we were researching it, and they used to make beer with chicken stuff, like, oh. like a chicken broth thing. So instead right. of an oyster stout, we plan on making a turkey beer um, after Thanksgiving and really using all the carcass and all. It's going to be pretty fun. So because we're f- afraid of doing one thing, it's going to inspire us to do something how, else. How long has Bellwether been open now, Musser? How many years? I don't know. What, you're going to have um, your anniversary. How many years? Almost five. The almost next five years? will be five. Five years Maybe of we'll... following Mountain Lakes' lead. That's there right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, There's no new idea. Everybody steals That's everything. Right, Here, here's a question. Um, And this might pertain mainly to Dave and Tim, but what do the minutes in the 156-minute IPA mean? Same thing as kind of when they're drinking a dogfish 60-minute, 120-minute, and so on. How does that reference come to be? Uh, 156 minutes is, uh, we had a contest. I just started drinking that beer heavily. Right. uh, Continuously, and... I was, I was conscious for 156 minutes. All right. Uh, in a row. <laughs> and then and when you passed out, the, the stop clock went. Yep. And so that's how long, that's how long I, it'll take it. I'm not quite sure what happened to the, stock, the, 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 the clock. I was uh, passed out. But okay. Dave said it was 156. Yep. 156. And then we brewed the Scotch Ale, and we sent Tim out on a binge drinking 
night, and he came back with Father McKenzie, oh. and that's how we named him. And now you got it. And he said the sacraments and everything was done. <laughs> You're like, there you this go. priest can really drink.